Welcome to EML Micro, a professional learning series brought to you by the Modern Learning Team at the Peel District School Board. Today we look at Minecraft Education Edition, a tool that redefines learning, where rather than having to adapt our learning to fit into the game, the game adapts to meet the needs of our learning experiences. Minecraft Education Edition is an open world digital sandbox where the only limit is your imagination. It cultivates collaboration and problem solving and allows creativity to flourish. This tool offers modern learners choice as to how they create, where one student can work independently in their own space, or an entire class can work collectively in a shared world. Minecraft Education Edition is available on Microsoft, Apple, and Chromebook devices, as there is a vast array of possibilities and potential when using this digital tool. Please be sure to reach out to your Modern Learning Resource teacher to co-plan and co-teach. Also visit education.minecraft.net for recent updates. Now, let's look at some basic functionality and gameplay options. In the Minecraft main menu, you'll notice your avatar, last name, and the ability to change your avatar. The play button will allow you to create new worlds and access saved worlds. There may be a special event highlighted as well. The settings icon allows you to change things like sound and video settings. You can also switch accounts if needed. Please note the bottom right hand corner version code as this is often a source of error. Be sure that this is up to date with all users hoping to collaborate. Let's begin by starting a creative world where students can build anything they need to to demonstrate their learning. This could include a detailed setting for a walkthrough of a story, a structure related to area perimeter, a pixelated sculpture, or a large-scale model related to biology. Once you select Play from the main menu, select Create New World. Name the world something simple and consider including the date. Select Creative Mode and Peaceful. Turn on Show Coordinates to provide modern learners with XYZ coordinates. Turn on Classroom Settings. This will allow you to turn off things like destructive items and player damage. Once you're ready, click the play button to begin. Once your creative world has loaded, you'll note that you've spawned in one of a variety of biomes. Try out the controls located on the left. Note how that when you move around, the coordinates change. When you interact with the world, just be careful. There's no undo button, but it's okay. Everything you need is there to build it back up again. To select materials for creating, select the E key. A large inventory will pop up. Pick an item and either put it in your tool belt or backpack for later use. If you need a specific item, hit the magnifying glass and type it in. Then put the item either in your backpack or tool belt. It can then be selected and then when you target an area on the map, you can place it down to start creating whatever you need to show your learning. Two important objects to obtain from the inventory are camera and book and quill. These will allow you to take photos and journal about everything you are building and doing inside the game to demonstrate your learning. They can then be exported as a PDF and submitted to your virtual learning environment. If you're looking for a more structured learning experience, Minecraft Education Edition offers several starting points in all subject areas. Here's an example called Build with Bees, looking at apiculture and agriculture. A second is Extinction Safari, looking at habitat loss and biodiversity. When you click play from the main menu and view library, you'll gain access to the more structured learning experiences, including monthly build challenges, how to play modules, biomes and worlds, and then defined lessons in subject areas, such as math, science, and computer sciences. You'll also note the recent additions of Digital Citizenship and Equity and Inclusion modules. Whether diving into a creative world or playing through a more structured learning experience within Minecraft Education Edition, consider co-creating guidelines with your modern learners around safe, creative, and equitable play. Teachers can also consider downloading the Classroom Mode console, which will give you quick access to classroom settings a mini-map, and a class text feature. We know that may have been a lot to take in, 
so consider re-watching this EML micro to review the basic functionality. Also, be sure to capitalize on the capacity in your classroom, as many of your modern learners have experience on this platform. And remember, the Empowering Modern Learners team is here to help. Whether you're looking to co-plan around your first learning experience in Minecraft Education Edition, or looking to explore more advanced functionality, such as Code Builder or World Builder settings, your MLRT is always eager to collaborate with you around innovative use of instructional technologies. We hope you enjoyed today's learning. Please feel free to share your inspirational ideas with your professional learning network using hashtag PeelEML. Thanks for listening.